Hi everybody, this is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House and this is the last part of our four part video tutorial when we actually go through keyword performance report, construct a script that checks the average cost per conversion on each keyword, compare these to our average for account and if the keyword has two times or higher average cost per conversion we send an email where we say okay these keywords need to be checked or I don't know adjusted or something else and we sorry this is the wrong tab here it is and we ended up with constructing email and everything works works correctly the only thing that is not uh, that we haven't done yet we want to I, I guess a lot of you guys has an MCC account that contains a lot of different accounts inside and you don't want it to put this script in each account separately. So to fix that, I actually have this main function that we're going to put in our script. And just for you, for the future, you can do this for almost any script, any other script that you see in my channel or anywhere else in the internet. The only thing you need to remember, and it's quite simple things, here's MCC app. Uh, selector that is allows us to go to our MCC sub accounts the same as ads app but only works on MCC level you can get accounts with the filtering in this case I get I'm getting accounts that have the label name containing something and we need to create this variable in the very top for example my my label and that has more clicks for time period for for last 30 days more clicks than zero for last 30 days and important thing here is actually this with the limit 50 why it's so important because by default google ads scripts has a limitation no more 50 accounts can be run in parallel from mcc level if you will try to run 51 account the google ads scripts will fail so we need to limit this um, like physically in our script and then we order by clicks uh, in um, our MCC selector so the script will find 50 first accounts that actually has this label name has more than zero clicks for this time period and will proceed first 50 accounts that has the biggest amount of clicks in case you have more than 50 accounts and you wanted to run script for all your accounts what i recommend you to do create one label for first 50 accounts then another label for another 50 and another level label for another 50 and so on and so on and so on and this will work perfectly for you as long you have less than four 450 accounts and you also have to copy and paste the script several times first copy of the script will work with one label and another copy of the script will work with another label. If you have more than 400 different accounts under your MCC, you probably need to think about Python solutions or something like ready-to-go SaaS software solutions. But let's keep it simple right now. So I have this main function that has these that takes these accounts by this filtering and run the function on them. The only thing I need to do I need to say that my old main function is now have another name is a find bad keywords and I say okay run this function for each account or in other words execute this function in parallel for each account you found here and that's very simple very cool to do uh, the last thing we need to, to do before we actually finish the script is here Actually, I made a small modification that I haven't showed you uh, before. The thing is, here, if I have a lot of keywords, like 200 or 300 or 400, the email will be too big. And no matter that you have bad keywords in your account, you still will receive no email that is not good for us. So what I've done, I've done else if, if total bad keywords are more than 200, Instead of sending HTML body final HTML, I want to send this message. Sorry, I actually I've done this modification in the video, but then I realized that I made this mistake, so I have to rewrite the rerun the video again. So what do we do? We still send an email to email address. We still have the same subject of email with account, with the date, and all the stuff. 
but instead of writing a full final HTML, I wanted to send you information that, okay, I found this amount of uh, bad keywords with this currency, and then I say, okay, found too many bad keywords, need a manual look. In this case, email will be extremely short, and you will always get email, even if a lot of keywords are really bad in your account. I think that's all I wanted to show you. Let's just to be just to be sure. Let's go to my MCC level and check if the script works correctly. But I think I already double checked this. So we have here big report live for MCC. We paste it here. We put the email address. Don't forget that it should be lowercase. We have my label here. And yes, let's let's run preview. I should have at least one email after the preview. And it would take about, I think, about half a minute. Don't forget that after you put this script on MCC level, you will have to reauthorize it again. So here it is. I have one email still for my account because only, only this account have my label in it. Still one keyword, the same as in the previous videos, the same keyword here with the same cost, everything looks perfectly. But now this script is actually located on MCC level. What I need to do, I need to close it. I can schedule this uh, report, for example, weekly on Monday on 9 a.m. Okay, and then I each time I wanted to add one more account to this report, I just go to my MCC and take any other account and apply my label, for example, this uh, account, I add label my label. And next Monday I will get the email about these two accounts instead of one. Very simple, very cool, as long as you have no more than 50 accounts in your Google Ads scripts that are going to be analyzed. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned. I will create new more videos about how to make automation for Google Ads and how to work with Google Ads. And don't forget to ask your questions in the comments because your questions really help me to create relevant and interesting content. It's difficult for me to uh, make up with the idea that it will be interesting for everybody, but as long as I know that at least one person is really interested in solution, I will try to unsolve your problem as fast as possible. Thank you very much and bye-bye.